Of course, as I hinted earlier, the business of the day is on an issue which has refused to go away. That is the strain on the Nara by market forces. But before then, let's take a look at major happenings in the course of the week in Nigeria's economy. I'd like to feel your polls about the business environment. Um, what does it feel like for people in the industry like you? I mean, I think we, we've moved significantly. It, it's, um, I, was, I was saying to someone the other day that we've never had this much interest and investment and financing available. Recently, um, we, we, we saw banks turning in large percentages of, uh, of, of gains with the, with the Nara devaluation, if you permit me to use that word. But then the manufacturers, on the other hand, are having their fingers burnt uh, because they're recording losses in foreign currency. How do we marry this? Even the banks are crying. It's just that they cry, they don't share tears. It may seem Nigeria came a bit late to the dining table when we're talking the AFCFTA. So where is our position as a country? Are we on the table or we're still standing in the doorway? Um, thank you very much for, for this uh, valid question. We're having too many BDCs that your numbers should be trimmed. Do you agree with that? They are far too many. What have you concluded to be the most risky action that has caused Nigerians to lose uh, data or to get, to get those forms of exposure that affect them negatively? Lack of awareness. What are the implications of these um, on households and now Nigerian households, what are the implications? Um, to households, it's quite devastating because most households do not have the income necessary. Mm -hmm.